Now this is time to build the multiple linear regression model in R. As you can see it here that we have loaded our clinical data set in our R. And we have stored this clinical data set in a variable named data as we have done in a previous video tutorials. We have also checked the structure of our data by using the str function. And look at the console. In the console, we are going to have name of the all variables that are present in our data set. Let's assume for a moment that you want to see the impact of age, systolic blood pressure, and cholesterol on the heart rate. In this case, the heart rate is going to be our response variable, while age, systolic blood pressure, and the cholesterol will be our explanatory variables. To build a multiple linear regression model between all of these variables, once again, we are going to use the R-base function. This R-base function is present in the stairs package of RStudio. We have explained the stairs package and the R-base function in a previous video tutorials. So let's build our model. To build the model, we are going to make a one variable name model. And after writing down the name of the model, we are going to give a sign of equality. After giving this sign of equality, we are going to use the same function as we have used in case of the simple linear regression. This function is LM. And we have explained to you earlier that what does it mean by the LM? The LM stands for the linear regression models. After typing the LM, we will give the parentheses, and within the parentheses, we will type the name of the variables. Just like in case of the simple linear regression, first we will type the name of our response variable. And the response variable name here in our case is a hard trade. After typing the name of the response variable, we will give the tilted sign. After giving the tilted sign, now we will type the name of the explanatory variables. As we told you earlier that we are going to use the three different explanatory variables in our data set, including age, systolic blood pressure, and cholesterol. So let's type their name. First, we will type the name of our first explanatory variable, that is age. After typing the name of the age, we will give the plus sign. And after giving the plus sign, now we will type the name of our second variable. Now keep into mind that this is going to be a key difference between a multiple linear regression and the simple linear regression. In simple linear regression, we are going to have only a one explanatory variable. But in case of the multiple linear regressions, we are going to have the multiple explanatory variables. Now after typing the plus sign, we will type the name of our second variable, which is a systolic blood pressure. After typing the name of second variable, we will once again give the plus sign and we will type the name of our third explanatory variable, which is a cholesterol. After typing the name of all explanatory variables, we will give a comma sign. And after giving a comma sign, we will use the data argument. And after typing the data, we will give the sign of equality. And now we will write down the name of the variable that is holding our data. And as you know it very well, that the name of the variable that is holding our data is data. After typing this piece of code, now let's run it. And we hope so that now you will have a very good idea that how you can run the codes in RStudio. We will press the run button or we will press the control enter. When we will hit the run button or press the control enter key, then our model will be built up as you can see here in the console. We are not going to find out any error message. It means that our model has been successfully built. Now this is time to see the summary of the model. To see the summary of the model, we are going to use the summary function. So we will type summary. And after typing the summary, we will give the parentheses and we will type the name of the variable that is holding our model. And the name of the variable that is holding our model is model. After typing this, we will come out of the parentheses and we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. And once we will do that, then look at the console. In the console, we are going to have all of the summary of our multiple linear regression model. Please don't worry about this summary. We will explain these results to you in our next video tutorials. 
Now, once you have built the multiple linear regression model, uh, this will be pretty good to visualize it as well. To visualize this multiple linear regression model, we will use the ggplot. Then in the next video tutorial, first we will build the multiple linear regression model graph and then we will explain it to you that how you can interpret these results. So please stay with us.